It is November 18th, 2025, and we're tracking the chance for wet weather as we're going into Wednesday, including a few heavy showers. Hey, everybody, meteorologist Drew Davis alongside with you. We've got a no-hype weather forecast video for you today, like we do every weekday on this YouTube channel. Let's just get right into it and show you what's going on outside the window. A quick look at our first alert radar and satellite. If you watched yesterday's update, we talked a lot about how there was a lot of uncertainty on where this line of moisture that's currently set up over the eastern half of the state was going to line up. And this is kind of akin to what we were seeing in the European weather model, the moisture, the heaviest moisture just off to the east of Hawaii Island. We've been seeing throughout today some showers, some light showers over near Puna, Volcano, over in Hilo, and along South Point. Not as much moisture over on the Kona side of Hawaii Island. And a lot of the cloud covers actually started to push further eastward. There's this upper level disturbance that's currently off to the south of us that is spinning counterclockwise, pulling up some moisture up from the south. And this moisture is going to continue moving towards the north over the next couple of days and we're going to see stronger trade winds develop on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday and that moisture is going to get caught up in the trade wind flow giving us a better chance for rainfall as we're going into the rest of Tuesday evening and also for Wednesday. We also have a very weak front out there that's starting to fall apart off towards our northwest. As that continues to fall apart, we will see a better chance for stronger trade winds. So stronger trade winds expected on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Here's what we're tracking outside of that. Heavy showers really right now for the Big Island. We're going to start to see showers statewide as we're moving into Wednesday and breezy trades expected by the time we get to Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. The only alert that we have up from the National Weather Service right now is this winter weather advisory that's currently up until 6 p.m. this evening. Total snow accumulation up to four inches out there. We've seen some reports of snow on the summits of Hawaii Island. Let's break down the big picture, the overall weather pattern with what's going on. Over the past couple of days, we've been watching that weak front. You can kind of see the weakening of the high pressure off towards our north that you can draw out where the front is. Again, this front is going to continue falling apart and a strong ridge is going to build into towards our north. You can see as we're going into Wednesday and Thursday, strong clockwise rotation around this high pressure system, giving us breezy trades. That's going to last throughout Wednesday, Thursday, starting to weaken a little bit as we're going into Friday. You can see another weakening in the surface pressure out there as another weak cold front is going to be moving in, kind of giving us showery weather as we're going into Saturday and Sunday. You can see the lower pressure out there going into Saturday and Sunday. So let's break down the mid-level flow, what's going on out there. Again, we've had this disturbance that's kind of getting sucked up into this trough just to the north of the island chain. You can see it's not cut off like it was yesterday. The counterclockwise rotation around it and the clockwise rotation around this high pressure system right here, pulling up moisture and instability from the south of the island chain. This disturbance is going to get pulled into this mid-level trough that's also happening at the upper levels, which I'll show you in a bit. And we're also going to see the trough inject a cutoff low off to towards the southwest. That's really not going to impact us. We're going to see high pressure building in just to the north of us in the mid-levels as well, building in those strong trade winds going into Thursday and Friday and slightly drier weather on Thursday and Friday as well. Taking a look at the upper level flow, you can see that trough, the jet stream dipping down from the north and northwest. This is going to pull that upper level disturbance off towards the northwest. It's also going to eject another cutoff low at the upper levels, moving off towards the southwest, really not impacting us. And then we're going to see high pressure ridging over us as we're going into Thursday and Friday. And then we're potentially seeing another weak front moving in. There's the jet stream dipping down as we're going into Saturday and Sunday could potentially bring another front towards us that's going to give us more showery weather. At least that's been the trend over the last couple of runs in the future cast. So breaking down our future radar, let's show you what's going on. We've got the disturbance. We've got more low pressure up towards our north. This disturbance that's continuing to pull moisture up from the south. A lot of the moisture staying just to the east of Hawaii Island. And then we start to see those strong trade winds pull that moisture back down towards the southwest as we're going into Wednesday and Thursday. It starts to fall apart as it's moving closer to us. So a better chance for rainfall as we're going into Wednesday and Thursday. That front that's off towards our northwest falls apart, and then we could see another very weak front moving in as we're going into Saturday and Sunday, giving us more showery weather. You're seeing most of the moisture with this one just to the north of the island chain. So let's break down the local view. This is the American model, the GFS, which has been more aggressive over the past couple of days, showing you more rainfall over Hawaii Island. What we were seeing play out today was more akin, of what the, uh, more akin to what the European 
European model was showing yesterday. You can see going forward, the American model, you start to see more moisture getting caught up in the trade wind flow going into Wednesday. This is around 7 a.m. More heavy showers along the windward side of Hawaii Island and Maui tomorrow morning. That continues to move down the island chain throughout Wednesday afternoon. Windward showers for Oahu and Kauai. I really hope we do see some moisture moving to the leeward and interior side of the smaller islands, but it seems like a bulk of the heavier showers will be over the eastern half of the state. Drier weather and strong trade winds expected on Thursday, Friday. Another round of heavy rainfall, or not heavy rainfall, another round of lighter rainfall. Showers is expected this weekend with that weak front that's expected to move in. Here's what we're expecting again in the European model. You see the moisture moving up towards the north of us, getting caught up in the trade wind flow just off to the east of Hawaii Island, going into Wednesday afternoon, some heavier showers possible over the windward side of each island. So you're seeing the models start to agree a little bit more compared to yesterday where there was that wide disagreement out there. Let's just break down our winds. You're still seeing pretty breezy trade winds, a little bit more northeasterly over the western half of the state. Kahului seeing winds around 22 miles per hour out of the northeast, 14 miles per hour in town out of the northeast as well. Slightly weaker as we're going throughout this afternoon compared to what we're expecting on Wednesday. So I'm showing you Wednesday afternoon, a little bit more easterly pretty breezy out there around 3 p.m. Even stronger as we're going into Thursday as that high pressure is building it in to the north of us. Breaking down our surf and shoreline forecast, north and west facing shores are on the rise around 10 to 14 feet. West facing shores around 7 to 10. South facing shores pretty small. Also seeing east facing shores are around 6 to 8 feet feet out there going into your Wednesday morning. You can see some energy moving in on north and west facing shores. Uh, a couple of overlapping northwest swells. A larger swell associated with that front that's moving in this weekend. Going to be moving in Friday night, Saturday, and Sunday. Here's your first alert VOG forecast. This is an exclusive thing you're only going to find here on Hawaii News Now. It's courtesy of our friends over at UH Manoa. You can also go to their website and take a look at their uh, run and you'll be able to scrub through the timeline yourself. Going forward over the next couple of days, we might be seeing some light fog that's still seeping out of Halima'uma'u Crater and Kilauea. Just kind of moving off towards the northwest. So some light fog, nothing that's really going to impact the air quality too much. But if you are sensitive to it, you might be able to feel it in the next several days. Let's break down your island by island forecast. This is for Wednesday November 19th, 2025. Over on Kauai, we've got showers likely, mostly cloudy conditions. Again, a better chance for rainfall on Wednesday over the entire state compared to what we were seeing today, where most of the moisture is over the eastern side of Hawaii Island. On Oahu, scattered showers, partly sunny out there, moving down to Maui County, mostly cloudy, and moving over to Maui proper. You'll see a lot of rainfall out there. Kahului around 83, 83 in Kihei, mostly cloudy over the Valley Isle. Kailua Kona side of Hawaii Island, Scattered showers, cloudy, calm winds becoming more southwesterly in the evening. Showers expected over the Hilo side of Hawaii Island. You're seeing temperatures around 79 for a high in Hilo tomorrow. And pretty cloudy over the northern portions of Hawaii Island. And pretty gusty out there as well. We're still tracking the tropics. Hurricane season almost done. November 30th, or the end of November, officially the end of hurricane season. No new tropical cyclones expected over the next seven days. And another look at our first alert radar and satellite. You can see a lot of that moisture over Hawaii Island. Light showers out there. All of that moisture expected to get caught up in the trade wind flow as we're going into Wednesday. So thank you for tuning in. Make sure to like and subscribe and smash that notification bell. You get a not notification when we post these every day around 4 p.m. every weekday. And uh, thank you for all the support we've received so far on these videos. It's very cool to see long-form weather content for Hawaii doing well on YouTube like this. So I'll see you tomorrow, weather permitting. This has been meteorologist Drew Davis.